Hi, this is Kayla from Radiant Life, and I just wanted to put together a quick video for you to show you how to assemble your new Radiant Life gravity unit. So the first thing that we'll put together is the lid, and that looks just like this. It has a small hole in the top, and in your Radiant Life gravity system box, you'll also find a small screw that looks like this, and the knob, and those are the other pieces we're going to use. So the small screw just goes in the bottom of the lid with the washer on it. And then you can put the knob on top and just twist and hand tighten. And the lid's all set. So the next piece we'll look at is the upper can. That looks like this. It has four holes in the bottom. And that's where you're going to install the filters. If you have the four filter unit, then you'll put a filter in each of the holes. If you have the two filter unit, filters will go in two of them and plugs will fill the rest. So I'll show you how to add those filters. The filters look like this. Um, there's a blue plastic piece in the bottom that I'm going to hold and the threaded part here and just remove the nut that's on there. You'll also notice as you're doing this that there's a black rubber washer that sits on the top. That's going to stay right where it is attached to the filter. So just take this piece and fit it through the hole in the bottom of the can like so. And then holding the blue plastic piece of the filter on the inside, this nut goes onto that threaded part that's now sticking out from the bottom here. And twist, and again, this can just be hand tightened until it's tight. And then you'll repeat that process for the remaining filters that you have. If you do have the two filter unit and you're going to be using the plugs, they look like this. And those are just inserted by pushing them into the remaining holes on the bottom so that they're all filled. All right, once you've done that, you can move on to the lower can assembly and that piece looks like this. With the rubber ring on the bottom, this is what's gonna be sitting on your countertop and filled with the clean water and the spigot will go right here. So I'll show you how to install that spigot. It comes like this and there's a nut that's threaded on so you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take that off and we'll put it aside. We'll be using it a bit later. And then the other pieces you'll need for this part are the two silicone washers that look like this, and then the washer covers that just look like this. These come with like a blue film on them that you're gonna wanna peel off before using them to reveal the shiny stainless steel side. So for this part, you'll take one of your washer covers and put it on the spigot like so, then take one of the silicone washers and wriggle it over the threads Get it nice and tight up to the top there. Then this part is inserted into the hole in the bottom of the system. And you'll take a silicone washer and put it on the threaded part that's now sticking through here. So that part you can push on. It's kind of the trickiest part of the whole thing, really. Alrighty, and then once that is nice and secured up against the spigot in the inside of the can, you'll take the next washer cover and that goes on the threaded part as well. And once all those washers are stacked onto the spigot, you'll take that nut that we had taken off earlier and thread that on. And again, hand tightening here should work totally fine. You wanna get it nice and secure up against the can. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done here. So in here you've got all your stacks of washers and washer covers and the nut on the threaded part on the end. And so that is good to go. And next is the final step. You've got your lower can, your upper can with the filters in it, and your lid. And now you're ready to flush the system and get it ready for use. 